All right. We're going to wait about five more minutes, but I'll go ahead and open Schoology. Very, very bottom of our class content folder is the assignment, the paper assignment, and then go ahead and open a brand new, fresh Google Doc because I'm going to walk you guys through how to get your papers started. And then if anybody has any stuff already written, we will go through and help them edit it. All right, here's some people. Good morning, Ulyssa. Good morning, Vincent. Good morning, Zion. Vincent isn't even connected to audio yet. Good morning, good morning. I'm very hungry today. I was very sick last night. I think I got some food poisoning yesterday because when I got home, I was very sick. So now my stomach is very sore, but I think I'm finally getting hungry, which is nice. Yeah, I'm fine. I just, whew, it was bad. I think it was, I had breakfast at Sonic and I think that's what it was. And I've never, ever had breakfast at Sonic before. So I don't know. I'm pretty suspicious. Something about it really upset my stomach. Uh, I just didn't want you guys to be behind. And I wanted to work with your uh, yeah bad decisions. I really wanted orange juice and tater tots. I should have just ordered that. I didn't take today off because I wanted you guys to be able to do draft with me today. And I brought my handy dandy bed buddy today. So you heat this up in the microwave. So I'm putting that on my stomach to help my sore tummy muscles. But if you don't have a bed buddy and you, and you uh, ever get like muscle pain or neck issues or your mom or dad does, this is a really good Christmas present. It's only like 15 bucks. Yep, you just pop it in the microwave for a minute and then it stays warm for like 20 minutes. It's very nice. Yeah, I did make bad decisions. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have gone to Sonic. And when I got there, I shouldn't have bought, gotten anything with egg. Am I trying to advertise something? Yeah, I get paid. No, <laughs> I was just uh, saying that like works great for me. And uh it uh, might be a good something to put on your radar for Christmas. For I don't go to Chick Fil A, but I draw drived by there on my way to Sonic, and the line was like super long. So since I only had like forty minutes. I went someplace I could get in and out of. But yeah, I should have just got like the French toast sticks or something. Should not have trusted the egg. Shouldn't have trusted the egg. Okay. The egg. So yeah, go ahead and open in Schoology the assignment, which is all the way at the bottom of our class content folder, and then open a fresh Google Doc. And that's what we're going to use for our draft day discussion. Good morning, Valeria. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I know that uh, Ingrid is here, and so I'm assuming she must be having trouble with her computer. All right, so everybody has the assignment open. Everybody knows three paragraphs, right? The first one where you're gonna identify the play that you watched. 
the second one where you talk about what you saw, what you thought, and then finally a reflection where you talk about, you know, the impact. Yeah, go ahead and open the musical theater paper just so that you have that open. The impact about the performance, um, you know, what did you think of it? At the very, very bottom, right? It gives you your word count. So what's our word count for this paper? Six hundred to eight fifty. Okay, so nothing below six hundred, nothing above eight fifty. All right. So has everybody watched their play? Yeah, you're gonna make a new Word or Google Doc. Everybody's watched their play. Okay, good. So what we're going to start off with is I'm going to help you set up the formatting for the top of your paper. Okay. Then we'll do a couple examples all together. And then um, as you are working on your own paper, you can send me the link and I can sort of help you with what you are writing. All right. So let me go to my blank Google Doc, my fresh. You have a question. Yes, I would love to hear your question. Okay. Well, Okay, so one of the things that you can do as you're writing your paper is go back to your musical, right? And sort of skip through it to like refresh your memory. That's totally fine, okay? Um, in fact, that's a very good way to approach it. So if you're like, eh, I don't remember the specifics, but I remember there was a really cool scene. So feel free to do that, right? But right now let's just work all together. So. Let me share my screen. Okay. So you should be able to see my fresh blank Google Doc. So if you're following along, you're going to be able to format the beginning of your paper for this assignment. So the very first thing we need to do is what? What do we need to do here? Come off mute or tell me in the chat our fresh, beautiful Google document, what do we need to do? Okay, so we gotta give it some kind of name, right? We're gonna give it just like, I'm gonna give mine a generic name. So musical, no, musical theater paper, whatever. Now I would say that most of the time, put your last name in the title of what you're gonna submit, okay? Um, that makes it easier for the teacher if there's any questions or if, um, let's say you have to email your paper to me because Schoology's down, right? If you have your last name in the name of the, of the document, then I remember immediately as I'm uploading it for you, okay, there's Mario's, there's Alejandro's, right? Okay. All right, so we've got, a, we've got a name up here. Now what do we do? What, what font do we need to use? Aha, here we are. So Times New Roman and the size is, ah, there's, 12, okay. And then what spacing? We have left a line, right? Which is good. What spacing do we need? Double space. All right. So for our line spacing, we're going to do double. Okay. 
And now what do we do? What's the first thing we put on our paper? Name. La -da 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 -da. Okay, so your name, date, and your class. Okay, excellent, good. Okay, so now we've got that. Now, some professors, when you're doing like college, you would put then the professor's name down here, right? So you would put doctor, you know, whatever. But you don't have to do that, of course, right? All right, now what? What's the next thing we, we're going to put on here? You would put the, you can put the teacher's name. You don't have to for this one, right? Because there's not multiple people teaching this class. It's very useful if you have a class where there's several different teachers, right? Especially if you're turning stuff in by hand. Title, says Vincent. Okay, so I'm going to center align my title. Now, your title can be as complicated or as easy as you want it to be, right? So I'm going to say, there's my title. Now, look at what I did with 21 Trump Street. It's the name of a musical. What did I do to it? Nope, I didn't underline it. I italicized, okay? So you want to italicize the proper name of plays just like you would books, okay? Or whatever it is that you're going to write, okay? So now we are going to hit enter. Now we got to go, we got to get rid of italics and we got to go back to left, right? And now what, what do I have to do? Because I'm going to start my paper. Indent, tab, yes, thank you. All right, so I'm going to indent and I'm going to begin. Now, very first thing, let's look at the assignment. What does it say that we need to do? We have to objectively present the body of work with the genre and why we chose it, okay? Introduce the performance. Okay, so I'm going to introduce the performance. You guys remember 21 Chump Street, right? Okay. So how might I start? 21 Chump Street is a musical written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Okay. So very simple, right? So whatever you're following along, whatever your play is, right? Here's my genre. And here's something that identifies it. I'm talking specifically about who wrote it. Now, it might be a good idea to say written by the person and directed by whoever directed the, the show that you watched. This is especially good to do when you're doing a play that's been done a lot, right? So for instance, if you're going to write a review of a production of Hamlet, we're going to need to know what version it is that you watched, right? And the easiest way to do that might be to say directed by person or starring whoever played like the main role, okay? So it depends on what play you are writing about. Questions about that? Does that make sense? So we don't really need it for this one because it's just, okay, this makes sense. All right, good. 
Now we're going to introduce the performance with a summary. So what kind of information would we need to put in for a summary of 21 Chump Street? So this play is about the theme and moral of the story, says Zion. Okay, so that's part of what we have to include. What else do we have to include? Characters, okay. So this play is about a high schooler, high school student, Justin, who what? What happens to Justin? What's the incident? What's the uh, inciting incident? Okay, falls in love with an undercover cop, right? We have to talk about that first before we talk about him getting arrested. Who falls in love with an undercover cop. So how do we get to him getting arrested, right? So this is our, it's a high school student. He falls in love with an undercover cop, right? She gets him to do what? Okay, so she convinces him to buy weed, right? And what? Then Navi tells us he gets arrested. What's our consequence for this? What's our jail? Okay. As a result, he ends up in jail and loses his chance to go to college. Very simple, right? But we have our stasis. It's a high school student. Our inciting incident is that he falls in love with an undercover cop, right? The crisis, she convinces him to buy weed. The major climax, he gets arrested. And our new stasis is here. He ends up in jail and loses his chance to go to college. So we've written the summary of 21 Chump Street in what? One, two, three sentences, okay? How do you know how many words you're at in Google Doc? Aha, Zion, thank you. Tools, word count, right? Now, I would suggest that you just click this display word count while typing, so that way you always know what you're at, okay? So look at this. If we highlight this, we, we summarize the whole play in 54 words. Pretty good, okay? So that's part of our identification. What do we have to do next? We have to say why we chose the body of work, right? What type of performance is this and how do you know? So how do we know this is a musical? Singing, what else does it feature? Dancing. And if you guys remember, we actually saw the um, the band playing live on stage, right? Okay. Doesn't want on stage to be one word, which is fine. So there we are. And then why did we pick it? I chose to write about this play because whatever your reasoning is. I thought it was very interesting. I related to the subject matter, right? Oh, it suggests to you something as you're typing, right? As a high, see how it, it comes up, right? With like, hey, I think you should put this. If you hit tab, it fills it in. 
Yeah. So there's a little, a little cheat there, right? Okay. Okay. So does that make sense? Okay. So our first paragraph, we do that. Then you're going to actually critique what you saw, right? Then you're going to finally write your reflection. So right now we are at 100 words. So we're a sixth of the way to our paper length. Okay. Now, if Zion, I think it was you who earlier mentioned an outline, what you can also do is just remind yourself, if we follow what this says on here, put identification, And then we have a section that is going to be critique. And then we have a section that's going to be reflection. And you can even put these questions that it asks in there if you want, okay? So that can be helpful. And then once you write that part, just delete those lines, right? So that you remember what you've got to include. The last thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to cite a source, right? So what kind of source might we cite for 21 Chump Street? So let's go ahead and Google 21 Chump Street. Okay, Wikipedia. That's not a good source. Let's keep scrolling. Concord Theatricals. Right here we have Lynn Manuel's actual website. We also have This American Life, which is by PBS, right? So let's click this. And it says, this is actually the real story of what 21 Chump Street is based on. So let's say I wanted to cite this for my source. What am I gonna do? Where do I go? Easy bib. Easy bib, thank you, Zion. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to Easy Bib. I'm gonna click Create Citations, right? It's a website, so I'm gonna click that. Now I would suggest creating an account for Easy Bib. You don't have to, but I would say it's a good idea. We're gonna click Search. What do you mean, Giselle? Where, when have you had problems with Easy Bib not working? I'm going to click site. I'm going to click continue. Do you mean that sometimes it can't find all the information? Sometimes it doesn't let you cite. I haven't seen that happen before. Sometimes for me, this does, does this have an author? Doesn't look like it. So we don't have an author to fill in here. So we'll just go ahead and click, oh, this is, we'll click complete citation and there it is. Now, once we have this, we copy it, right? We go back to our paper. There it is. Okay. Now, what do I do? I'm going to, I want to put in my citation. What do I have to make? Okay. Work cited. Yep. Or bibliography. Now, bibliography is a little outdated. Why, why is it, why would I say that, that it's outdated? Why is it? Oh, I think because it's. 
somebody has unmuted themselves. Works, yeah, bibliography implies books, right? Oh, I see. It's because this is all one big long um, MLA format. Yeah, we'll do use MLA. Yeah, it looks funny because this is, this doesn't fit on this line, right? Now, if you ever find a, a something like, let's say easy bib wasn't working for you. What can you, where else can you go? Does anybody know the other website that is really good for citing something? You guys ever heard of Purdue Owl? So actually, let's just do Purdue Owl MLA. If you ever find something that you can't like automatically cite or you're struggling with it, see how this has all of these different ways to do this. Citation machine is another good one. Yeah. Um, but here's another option for you. I will post it in the chat. So if you needed to cite something, it was a book and you can't find it, it shows the general format, then it breaks it down into a basic book, book with one author, book with more than one author. So you actually have to type it up yourself, but it will at least, you can sort of follow the guide here, okay? So I have two things for you in Schoology, if you look in Schoology and class content for this week, you have in the draft day folder, uh, easy bib, it's just easybib.com, I believe. Yeah, easybib.com. So in the draft day folder, there is a place where you can submit drafts. If you want me to give you some direct feedback. When you are ready to turn in your paper, what I would like you to do is to click on this link, which is gonna open up this folder and you will just drag your folder, your paper into that folder, okay? So that's what I would like you to do once you are ready for your final um, assignment. But prior to that final turn in, you can put it in this draft day musical paper place so that I can give you feedback right away. Okay, so you have about 30, uh, about 25 minutes. I wanna give you this time to start working on your drafts. What I would like you to do is to send me a link to your Google doc so that I can click through and help you as you are writing, or you can ask me specifically for assistance. Okay. I'm also going to post the sample draft here in Schoology so that you can have that for you to for you to reference, okay? So let me just go ahead and share this. And I'll post that in Schoology too. As a sample. 
So do we feel more confident about beginning our draft now? Yes. Have a better idea of all the steps. Okay. So you, like I said, you've got about 20, like five minutes. So go ahead and get started on your draft. Yeah, Mario, if you need to refresh your memory on the, on your play, boot that up and sort of skip through, see what you want to specifically talk about. Okay. And once you're, you know, when you're starting to write, send me a link to your Google Doc in the chat so that I can take a look and give you some live feedback in the document, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for like 23 minutes and give you guys this time to write. Please remember that these are due by the end of the week, okay? Because I have to grade all of them and turn in all the grades to uh, Summit or Uplift, I'm sorry, by December 9th, okay? So I'm here if you have questions. Whenever you... And you can begin. Uh, I don't know, Peyton. You were supposed to find it, right? So what? Uh, what? Which one did you pick? It's in, it is in that, so that's called Toxic Avenger, or is it Toxic Avenger? It's in that YouTube list that's in the assignment. Yeah, Toxic Avenger the musical is, it's a rock musical. And that is in the assignment uh, in that um, in that list. Or are you looking for, um, are you looking for like a source for your musical? Is that what you're asking for, Peyton? There's some information about musical itself, if that's what you were asking for. Oh, okay. You're welcome. There is no certain amount you have to write today, but remember that you must write 600 to 850 for the assignment total. 
So the more you get done today, the more, the less you have to worry about that later. You're welcome. The final paper is due Friday, yes. Yes, Easton. It's on my on my face. It's on my name. Okay, so it the slides will be in Schoology, and the I mean technically in and on a plane are both correct. Uh, the slides will be in Schoology, and the um, video will go up uh, the af that afternoon, I would imagine. Yes, you may, Giselle. Whatever works for you, Easton. I whatever works for you. Those of you who are writing, please send me a link to your Google Doc you want me to take a look, give you some feedback. Aha, I'm getting some now. That too. All right.
Um, if you guys can give me edit access so I can leave comments, that would be good. Okay, good. Scion, your header looks good. Or I'm sorry, Ray. Oops. Okay, um, Vincent, I just gave you, finished your edits for you, so you can take a look at those. Okay. 
Come on, don't work harder. Ray, I sent you a couple of things just to get you started. So again, if you want me to take a look at your draft, please go ahead and send me the link. We've got about eight minutes left to work today. Okay, that's fine, Mario. Uh, see something from Ashley. Ashley, I need you to give me edit access, please, in order for me to. Give you some help. Okay, thank you, Mario. Thank you, Zion. Again, I have to have edit access in order to help you out. Thank you, Easton. Uh, one thing that I do want to make sure that you guys know, numbers under 10 are always written out, okay?
I haven't gotten to it yet. So if you're asking me about your specific paper. Uh, yes, Scion, you can, or you can just put it in that um, uh, folder. I requested access, so you should get an email asking if I can be your friend. Can I, can I be your friend? Okay, thank you. So you've got about another minute before I'm going to give you the last five minutes to do um, your exit ticket. Okay, so I'm sending edits to the people that I can. All right, so that is it for writing time. Please go ahead now and open Schoology and do your exit ticket. Those of you who sent me drafts, you are doing good work. Keep at it, okay? Um, and if you want me to keep reviewing your drafts, there is that place in Schoology where you can pop them in so that I can take a look and let you know what I think. Sion, you're uh, at a good start, so good for you. I am, like I said, sending you guys some edits when I can. Okay, any questions before do your exit ticket? Send me questions, but is there anything that anybody needs to know urgently right now? Anything that anybody is like, oh my goodness, I forgot. No? Okay. So once you've completed your exit ticket, you are free to go. Please make sure to do the exit ticket now because a lot of people don't. And then they forget about it and then they don't do it. And then you get a 50 on something that you should have should have been easy to do, right? Otherwise, I will see you on Thursday. Please make sure to keep working on your drafts, okay?
And that is it from me. Thank you, Dr. Ashley. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Is this locked, Easton? What do you mean? Your exit ticket is locked? How did you lock your exit ticket? Never mind. I had it for the wrong day. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, how did you do that? All right. Okay. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.